Hello guys. In this video I'm actually going to show you a bit about what's inside our fridge at the moment. And I'm also going to talk about, maybe I'll do a little bit of a, I don't know if I would call it a rant video. But I am talking a bit with someone called Sastavan. I have actually two rant videos. One about all the fucking beta mails and incels that fucking email me and are asking me all the time to confirm if they are betas or incels or whatever. It's kind of like, how the fuck can I tell by your fucking pictures if you're a fucking beta male? Most of you are fucking betas. Let me just put that out there. You're, you're beta males and incels, and if I knew you in real life, I would probably really dislike you. I'm, I'm gonna put that out there, actually, right there. Uh, because I think all of a lot of you misunderstand. Uh, well, anyways, I'm gonna do videos about me doing that because I kind of want to get that out of my chest instead of just writing emails to you guys. I mean, sure, if you want to email me, go ahead, email me. I mean, as you probably know, I do respond when I can. So. Well, as you can probably tell, a lot of greens, kales, spinaches, uh, some of, we don't really, I mean, we often, we buy pre-washed, pre-cut salads most of the time, well, all the time nowadays, because I don't have the energy, and my mom don't have the energy either, to have to cut salads and all that. And, these are pretty cheap, actually. So... Because they're kind of like a few kroners higher than normal. You know that you have to cut and all shit yourself. So why do that, right? What's the fucking point? And this is... A red kale in Swedish. I don't know what... If red kale actually exists in English or what it's called. Some red onions, tomato... A spetskål... Um, a spear kale <laughs> Sound like that spear kale. I don't know what it's called in English and cucumber and some chilies And some salad onion Here are some sodas Since well, I'm do going low carb, which is what I want I want to try out these things, I mean, low calories and low carbs, because obviously if you want to lose weight, calories in, calories out, it's one of the easiest way. Um, we are doing a low calorie diet, me and my mom. Let's try it out because, well, it has worked for us before. And we don't plan on doing it for a super long time, like I think a lot of you people Watching this probably assume that we plan on doing low carb diet for the rest of our life. Nope. Come on, go up, you piece of shit. <sighs> Come on, go up. No. Finally, Jesus Christ. Sorry for that noise. All right, here we go. Some chocolate. Havre, what is Havre in? It's a milk alternative, I really like this one. It's, it tastes good, I mean, it does contain 10% carbs. But if you drink a little bit, it doesn't matter because all we have to do is keep our scent under 20 grams of carb a day, which is pretty easy to do. Some uh, milk. Half a percentage. It's okay. I prefer middle milk, but I don't really taste that much of a difference. Um, and we only use this when we're baking and things. This is a vinegar shots. Linfreolia. Which is it's an oil that contains a lot of omega-3. I do take omega-3 tablets anyways but also when you buy these things you 
this is a recommendation recommendation for me make sure that they're cold pressed you know cold mechanically pressed something like that it means that they don't add all these um, chemicals to make it easier for them to extract oil from different things um, because well those chemicals are still in the oil when you eat them and they're not exactly the best for you so make sure that it's that they buy things that do not contain that, where they actually go out of their way to use mechanical press. It does cost more, but it's worth it. There is a difference in the taste as well. Uh, this is something old. I think there is some sweet chili sauce, some mustard that I fucking hate. My mom like my mom likes it though. There are some pastes and shit. Here we have some vanilla sauce. And these are, this is Oatly. Which is a really good company, as you can probably tell. We have a lot of Oatly products. Because they, they actually taste good. They are actually very good. Um, the only thing I fucking hate about Oatly is their their image, their advertising, and all of that. It's so... oh god. It, sometimes it's kind of like, oh god, if I have two alternatives, even though Oakley tends to cost a little bit more than, you know, just normal things, sometimes if I see their advertisement, even though I prefer the Oakley, it's actually good quality, it's actually good. But their fucking advertisements are so shit, it's kind of like, fuck you. <laughs> uh, but we still buy it. Um, unless there's like a competitor that is kind of like Oatly, they do them in the same way. Then we would rather you take use them than Oatly sometimes because of their advertisements and how they just. I mean, it's shit. Um, let's see. Some broth. American dressing, tomato paste, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, did I talk about these things? I think I did. Here we go, some more. This is um, cooking. Uh, if I cooking, what what is grädde? I don't know what grädde is in English, but it's the cooking grädde. It's not actually a good day, it's the cooking version of that. Here you got some... Some pork, some pork bites. Some f leftover food. Olives. Obviously, and some feta cheese. I mean, we do have Greek blood in us. And the laughing cow. It's good. Some Delphia cheese that I don't eat, my mom likes it, however. Pre-cut cheese, which I don't enjoy buying it. Because of, well, it often contains, let's see, these chemicals to make it not clump. That, alright. Some Greek yogurt, Propod, kombucha. And this types of sodas, more like I would call them energy drinks. And I mean, they're very low on carbs and fats, low calories. They do contain some added vitamins and all that. The thing is, do I believe these vitamins are easily absorbed by the body? Probably not. It's probably not those types of vitamins and all that. But I don't care about that. It tastes good. When I get some like, oh god, I want to eat something good, something, something for a snack. When you're just a little bit, you know, when you feel like, oh god, I want to eat something unhealthy. Just take this. Because I wouldn't say it's unhealthy. I wouldn't say it's healthy either. It's just neutral. They taste great. This... How was it, what are they called? Celsius, which is the, the brand. They are great. 
fucking amazing. All their flavors. Their colas, dragon fruit, or pear. Um, I I only drink, I try to drink one a day, even if, I mean, the days where I feel like, oh, I have to, I'm feeling that I want to drink something or do something, I take one of those. I only do one of these. They do contain ca caffeine, which I'm very, I'm very weak to. Not that much, however. Um, we have some kombucha. And these are the two, two flavors that I haven't tested. This is Flader, uh, which is some type of flower. I mean, I don't really know what that would be called in English, you know, since Flader is, to me, is a very, very Swedish taste. And uh, I think I need, oh God, I need to close the the fridge for a little while just to get it to fucking oh god the both the thing that i hate the most about this chair is when you're high up like i am you don't move very fast you move very slow which is fine i mean i don't have it at the fastest speed since i don't like it when it's too fast Uh, there we go. Now it's light again. Um, the kombucha that I like, that I've tested, that I like, is a mint blueberry flavor. But this is Hallon Flader. Flader is a very, very Swedish taste. I haven't seen any, like, non-Swedish. If it would just fucking focus. There we go. Elderflower. There we go. I think that, yeah, it has to be elderflower, since it says in English, elders. Even though flat, that does not mean elder in Swedish, but that's probably what it's called in England. And it doesn't say what Hallonblad is in English. Anyways, that's it. And then one, oh fuck, then one is just a normal fucking kombucha flavor, I think. Yeah, it's just, I don't think this has any real flavor. I think it's just the normal flavor that their specific kombucha has. So maybe that could be good. I've never actually tested just unflavored kombucha. Some creme fraiche, crushed tomatoes. These are whole tomatoes without skin. We have sardines right here in tomato sauce, some tuna in a can, some mackerel in tomato sauce, some mushrooms I think those are, no that's a mushroom stew, some more cooking grit, cooking grit uh, some butter, bacon, eggs, um, mayonnaise, sauerkraut, I think that is, or I think this is called sauerkraut in English, and in Swedish is sour kale, because kol means kale, but the thing we call green kale is what you in England call regular kale, you know. Some ananas bites, and here we have some regular sodas that we don't drink. Those regular sodas is when you buy things that they come with a drink, whatever. They're up there in case we have guests that want some. Some hot chili tomato ketchup. And I think that's pretty much all there is in the fridge at the moment. Oh god. Oh, holding the phone got me tired. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Well, I'm just gonna... No. Come on, go down. Do you see how fast I am now? Oh, 
look at the difference. So I'm just gonna put it on the lowest speed now. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the fridge. Or the refrigerator, I should say. Because I... I think... Oh, fuck. There we go. Do we have anything new that I don't know in here? Some avocado, some already, you know, pre-cut avocado bites. I think those are blueberries and mangoes. Yes, they are. Oh God, I am actually curious as to what we have in here. Since my mom actually went out to buy a few things today. Oh, before I woke up. Oh, this is on beans. I mean, these are beans. Some shrimp, tuna, not tuna, um, salmon, more. Is this Harrison Vetch or is it beans? No, it's Harrison Vetch. Broccoli. This is a pure broccoli and this is a mixture of broccoli, carrots and uh, bloom coal, which is a blooming kale. <laughs> As you could probably say, tell, in Swedish a lot of things had the word kale in them. Like this right here. This is a pure bloom coal, which is a blooming kale. And this is green... Uh, this is kale. Or grön kol. If I only knew what they were actually called in English. And these are... <laughs> well, is it, this is gonna be celery kale. No, this is... Brussel. These are, these are br Brussels sprouts. Uh, but in Swedish it's called Brussel kål, which, as you probably tell, Brussel kale. Um, and I think these are some more blooming kale. Well, they're soon out. Probably why she bought some more. And here are here are the meats. So chicken. Oh, this is heavy. Yeah, this is a one and almost one and one point six kilos. Yeah, it's pork something, pork pork leg. Fuck, I don't know what that is in English. It's pork, anyways. Oh, here we have some some onions or yellow onions in Swedish. Here we have a mixture of peas and all other shit. And these are... S these are spinach. Spinach leaves. And... And these are also some pork things. Because, I mean... I think these came in eight pieces. We made four, and it, when we or we first separated them, uh, this is pretty new today. Since I can still feel them, they haven't really frozen yet. I'm guessing this is pork as well. Maybe it's beef something. I mean, it does look quite red, so it's probably beef. Um, yeah, we don't have any moose meat or reindeer meat at the moment, which is something we usually tend to have. Oh god! I mean, this thing, sometimes it, it just goes forward. But 
and I always get scared, but I've never fallen. Even when it goes forward, it's it just stabilizes itself. So that's one good thing about this, is that it stabilizes itself. Um, and that's it, actually. This was a long video. And I'm gonna go to sleep now. See you.